Another game, another last minute win for the defenders. Uh, Coach Kobe Carl, this team was down by 22 points. Your team was. They end up rallying, forcing overtime. Vander Blue hits the game winner with 2.5 seconds left. Uh, another another uh, kind of one for the books for you guys. Yeah, no, it's pretty repetitive. Uh, uh, they're making it tough on themselves, on, on all of us, I think, all, all the you know, staff and fans. But, uh, man, they, they really show a lot of grit. So the first time this happened, it's happened four games in a row, the last second uh, wins. First time this happened, you were saying that, oh, it's good. It's good that we're, uh, we know how to pull out games. Now it seems like you're just kind of used to it, and it's kind of old hat for you. No, it's always good. I mean, it's a great thing to, to say that your team, you, you can trust them to figure out a way to get wins. Uh, it just makes it a little harder, you know. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we bring a little more stress to ourselves than we need, but mm -hmm. it will make us better in the long run. And, you know, they, they keep finding ways and, and showing a ton of character. So uh, I was a little worried tonight with, you know, our energy at halftime, yeah. but uh, they found it. Did you have to say anything to your uh, team at halftime about that energy? Um, I mean, you know, you can only limit your halftime speeches. You know, it, it becomes like it, it is repetitive. So, um, you know, we we talk about it, but you know, a lot of it's on them, and and you know, they deserve the credit for that. Vander Blue, we, I mean, he's obviously one of the best scorers in the league. He's came up in big moments before, but I mean, is is there at all any kind of surprise or or you know anything like that when you see him hit a shot that big? Oh, that was a really tough shot, so that was a little surprising. Obviously, we, we've seen him hit that shot before, but uh, um, I think he missed one in regulation. Uh, missed a couple that, that he usually makes, so. Uh, but you, you never know with Vander. He's capable of making basically any shot on the court. You know, he's, he's, he's one of the best scorers in this league. Is that, is that something that you wanted at the end of the game, just to Vander Iso, let him do what he does? Uh, not specifically, but I, I like that they, they weren't able to set up anything and, and, and we had the advantage and, and, and our guys on the floor know each other well enough where uh, I think once we saw the spacing on the floor and, and where guys who guys were guarding that we were comfortable with the situation. He broke out like 12 celebrations after he hit that shot. Uh, excessive, excessive celebration. He almost <laughs> got a flag. Uh -huh. you, you weren't. Are we okay with it? Uh, I was actually not paying attention to it, so, <laughs> yeah. so I didn't see it. I heard at the end of the game that, uh -huh. that that's what happened. But. Uh, Ivica Zubats became the 10th player in uh, NBA and D-League history to, to play in both leagues in the same day. You're one of those guys. Uh, did you give him any advice before the game? No, no, I didn't. I just asked him if he was ready to go, and he said he was a little tired when he got here. Uh, but he, he played great, and he's shown consistent improvement, and I think we saw that tonight. He, he, he really helped us win this game tonight. What part of his performance kind of helped you the most? Um, 20 points, 10 rebounds. Yeah, I mean, on the on, on his rolls in the pick and roll, his hands are so good and his touch. Uh, he's playing against a really good NBA level defender in Eric Moreland, and uh, you know he 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 kept the ball high and finished at the rim and had you know does did what he does. Do you remember when you uh, played in both leagues in the same day? Of course, yeah. What was that like for you? It was a lot of fun. I did it the reverse. Uh, so back then we we played in the Staples as as, yeah. as the defenders before, and. Uh, I think we got the win, and then I went up to the Lakers, and uh, obviously wasn't expecting to play, but hope, hoping to play. And uh, we played Atlanta, and the guys did a good job of getting a big lead, and got a good opportunity at the end of the game to play a couple minutes. You need, are you extra tired after that, or is there anything like post both leagues? No, your your adrenaline is so high, it it's really it doesn't affect you. You know, competition is what we live for as as players, or or, or what they live for now. Yeah. Last thing for you, Coach. Uh, the the scoring didn't come in bunches in overtime, but the offensive rebounds seemed to really tilt this your way. Uh, Travis Ware had one, uh, Justin Harper had one, Noaba had one. What did you think about just the way you guys went up there and got them when they needed them? Yeah, there's one possession where we got a couple in a row. I think it really deflates the other team, and uh, you know, we weren't making some of the shots that we've, we've made. But uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for me that I saw was David Nawaba had probably like eight plays at yeah. the at the end of the game that were deflections you know loose balls it was it was unbelievable he was all over the place and then the job he did at, on Felder at the end of the game was pretty impressive uh, textbook mm -hmm. all right thanks that's coach Kobe Carl after the defenders win